How you doing, YouTube? Matt, Massive Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. A little bit of crowler time in the form of Troon Brewings. It is their panicked hair. Um, this is an imperial milk porter with toasted coconut and Madagascar vanilla beans, baby. Gotta love that stuff. Um, yeah, Troon. It has been a while since I've done a Troon beer. Um, they're not super far away from me. Um, you know, 50 minutes or so. Um, but it's... It, it's buy beer, get out kind of place. Um, I had some beer from them uh, a little bit over a year ago, and then I was like, you know what, I gotta go down there and check them out. And I go down there, and it's like literally like just a small little shed, and it's got a small little brewery attached to it, and I walk in, and I get two growlers, and I come back, and I reviewed them, go check them out, and they did this lactose-based sour thing that was just blew my titties off last year. And I was like, man, this place is awesome. And then a month later, they become like crazy pants, like popular, um, like to the point where they started crowling stuff. And that's how they do all the releases. They don't do normal cans. It's um, kind of, uh, you know, they just open and say, we're open and we have this come and get it kind of thing. So it's kind of hard to get down there because they they just kind of spit that out real quick. And it's just about an hour for me. And they usually sell out in about an hour because they don't do huge runs of stuff. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer. Um, but usually I'm, you know, coming home from work or whatever. Anyway, um, I actually told the story in another review because it's kind of part of the story. But uh, this week I actually went to a barbecue yesterday and today I'm actually hosting a barbecue. And uh, I needed to buy stuff at the grocery store because I live in the middle of nowhere. And the closest grocery store that's worth a whatever is like 20 minutes away. So I was driving down there and I was like, you know what, let me go to the other brewery. Um, not not Troon, just because they're released and stuff, get beer for my barbecue. And I was like five minutes away, and then Troon's like, hey, we have stuff. And that Troon is like 15 minutes away from that brewery. So it ended up being good timing. I was kind of driving past her anyway. So I popped in and grabbed a couple of cans, said hi to the, uh, to the owner and brewer, Alex, down there. Uh, super nice kid. Uh, I say kid because I'm old as fuck. And I'm trying to get him on the podcast. He's a wily son of a bitch. But uh, <laughs> he's just kind of busy as fuck. But anyway, super long intro. Let's just dive into this beer. How about we do that instead of just telling stories? People complain about that shit, but I don't care because I'm always going to tell stories. Anyway, but you know this. Anyway, what do we have here? True Brewery Company. Uh, it's pretty much the same Crowler wrap every single time. Um, they're in Hopewell, New Jersey. In the back here, it says, like I said, it's uh, Imperial Milk Porter, Toasted Coconut, Madagascar Vanilla Beans. 11.5%, and this was Crowlered on the 24th. So uh, today is the 26th, so they Crowlered the day before. Done and done. They do a nice ghetto sticker in the back. Beautiful, beautiful crowler art. I mean, that's the, it, it, there, he's a metal kid. You know what I mean? It reminds me of a lot of like tattoo art when I worked in a tattoo industry for 18 years. So let's crack this sucker open and see what she's got. I'm gonna get stout all over me. Man, these are filled too. I'll t put it this way they're not, uh, they're not, uh, worried about negative oxygen. This pu puppy, I'm gonna have a hard time pouring this. Oh, I'm so good sometimes. Well, he still spill shit everywhere. That's the curse of the crowler, I guess. So, yeah. Let's put that that way. Mm. Okay, what do we have? You're talking about an Imperial Milk Porter. 11%. It looks like what it's supposed to look like. I mean, you're talking at, like, Pinky Finger, Super Tight Compact Bubbles, you know, just just north of Malted Malt Ball Colored Head, but south where I'm at, like, my coffee to look like. And she's dark. Who would have thunk it? Let's see what the nose has. The vanilla comes through pretty big. You're getting a soft, sweet maltiness in there. Not much as far as bittering, though. It's pretty sweet. I mean, your your, your coconut and your vanilla is going to take care of a lot of that kind of residual bitterness from, like, kind of roasted malts. Yeah, there's... It's mostly vanilla, but you get just hints of that toasted coconut on the edges. A nice sweet chocolate. Um, not all the way to kind of milk chocolate, but a nice sweet chocolate and that's pretty much it. it smells like a big sweet imperial porter or stout let's take a sippy poo cheers it doesn't suck the vanilla doesn't come through nearly as big as i thought it would based off of the nose you're getting it but it's more sweetness than anything else. There is a nice kind of a bittering from the roasted malts and a little bit, I assume, from hops in there too. 
that you need that added sweetness of the vanilla to kind of bounce it off, I believe. Even if the, the beer being as big as it is, you need that vanilla. You need that lactose being a milk porter. The toasted coconut is just there in the edges. It's not big. I kind of wanted it to be big. I kind of wanted it to be like super showy and super just ostentatious and just fucking really just belligerent. But it's not. But it's there. It's nice. It, 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 it's a porter. It's not a stout. That's the cool part about it. Um, when people actually say, you know, 11% Imperial Porter, sometimes they're just like talking about a stout and for some reason I want to call it a milk porter. No, this has this nice creaminess, nice fluffiness to it. It has a half to it, but it's not too dense. It has that kind of, like when you drink, for me, what is, when I talk about a porter at a high ABV, or really any ABV, when I drink it, the big kind of check mark of my brain, not that we have to, you know, drink the style, but when someone says a porter, you like it. So when you drink it, it's almost like the bubbles are exploding in your mouth as opposed to being super dense. You get that in here. So you get a nice big roasted maltiness. A nice bittering. There's got to be more hops in here than just that roasted malt. Definitely this nice bittering bouncing off all that lactose, vanilla, and all that sweetness with just that coconut just kind of touching and picking and zipping and zapping on the edges of your tongue with not a huge in-your-face component. There's almost a little bit of creaminess to it that I want to kind of be like, okay, there's a flabbiness to the beer that I want to attribute to the coconut too. I don't know if that's actually just me just making shit up my brain, but it's nice. It's tasty. It doesn't drink anything like 11.5%. It comes in probably in my brain more closer to like 8%, but yeah, it's nice. It's tasty. It's super tasty. I just, in a perfect world, that coconut would be driving driving the kind of bus. Because, I mean, if you look at the name, if someone that reads, you know, ingredients and things a lot, you know, it, it's an imperial milk porter. Okay, we're talking about lactose comes first, and it says toasted coconut and Madagascar vanilla. And it, almost like you want to take that toasted coconut, throw it at the end of the sentence, take it, that vanilla, put it first, and put the lactose in between, because that's kind of how all the ingredients kind of lie for me. That's me kind of, you know, picking nits, you know what I mean? And, uh, just trying to talk about it. I guess that's what I do here. Mm. But yeah, it's nice. It's tasty. Each sip, I get a slight bit more coconut. But you're talking about 11.5%. I got a barbecue I got a host outside, so I can't be chugging on this for about all night and just end up being a dumpster fire. I'll be a panicked hare myself. But um, yeah, it's tasty. It's nice. I like it. I don't think I have much more to say about it. Super long review to begin with. Um, let's cut to the chase. Is it one of the better milk stouts? Imperial milk stouts that I've had as well? Yes. Uh, is it one of the best? Probably, it's worthy, it's above worthy of the conversation. Probably not in the top one or two. I've had ones that have really kind of turned me on a little bit more than this one, but it's tasty as hell. You know what I mean? Not something that I'm, it's like, it's almost like saying it that way comes off as a negative. No way. It's super tasty. This is in my brain. I just want that coconut to be a little bit bigger. And it would just, just you know, I'm a, I'm a coconut junkie, baby. What do you want? I just wanted to show that way. But all in all, it's a pretty tasty beer. And, and, and if you're going to kind of bang coconut on the label, then I kind of want it to show. And while it's there and it's nice and it's subtle and a beer that's pretty big, which is kind of a hard thing to just pull off in general. I just want a little bit bigger. I want it all. I want my cake and eat it too. Uh, value and availability, 15 bucks for a crowler. 15% beer, 32 ounces. I don't have a problem with that. I don't. Um, let's see. Uh, brewery only, obviously. Actually, that's wrong. I'm a liar. Um, they actually do pretty much all their beer at, um, there's a restaurant. If you were to go to Hopewell, down where Troon is, there's a restaurant on the same property. Property called uh, Brick Farm Tavern, and you pretty much got all their beers on draft there. They have nothing to do with the brewery other than they're being on the same property, and the owner of the brewer, of the, um, the restaurant probably owns the property. Um, but you can pretty much get all their beers on draft there. So if you're ever flying through the area and be like, oh, they're not releasing, just stop on there and you can chug some beers at the bar. It's a little bit hoity-toity, but at the bar you can get away with your jorts and your and your neck beards and your button-up shirts and shit. Um, and uh, 
leave you with if you like what you li will you like this if you like big imperial porters and you like them to be actually imperial porters you like that vanilla kind of lactose play and you like coconut but you like it in, in, in gentle doses because that's pretty much what you're gonna get here a well-made imperial porter and uh, where coconut shows but doesn't get too boisterous for the lack of a better word so there you go another review in the books down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing a whole social media stuff. Beer Massive if you want to check me out doing a whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully enjoying a nice little Imperial Milk Porter right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers.